just like to start this episode with a disclaimer um, about our teeth. <laughs> uh, if you look at the clips on on uh, Instagram or YouTube, the reels, it looks as though our teeth have not been brushed in many, many years. And maybe, maybe we are meth addicts that uh, are about to lose their teeth because of how the deep, deep yellow that they appear to be. And I just, it's the cameras. It's the color on the cameras. Um, I... Yeah, uh, it's it, the lighting, I think. Light, no, lighting I think, cameras. I don't know if it's the lighting because it doesn't look like that on my camera. Well, yeah. So I think the biggest thing is, um, do I go to the dentist as often as I should? <laughs> no. But like, I brush my teeth two to three times per day. <laughs> Lots two of, to three? Oh, three? Yeah, sometimes. Hmm. I brush my teeth a lot. I brush... Uh, I'm impressed because I don't think I've ever been on a trip with you where you remembered to bring your toothbrush. Well, it turned into a novelty thing for me because I thought it was funny then. That's not that's not the case anymore. But uh, but I always did get a toothbrush. Did you ever use? Remember those? Um, I forget what they were called, but it was like a thing that would slide on your finger, and you would brush your teeth with those. I you saw used to take one. them to like school. I never used that. I used to use the little uh, little like pick little the little ones that would come. They're like a little toothbrush, and they already had like toothpaste on them. I used to use those at the orthodontist. You can get them like sheets, I think. Just water, and then the toothpaste like poof, shows up. I don't know. I didn't have. To, I never went to the orthodontist because I was poor, so I never got braces. <laughs> so my teeth are just crooked. <laughs> so, but they're not yellow. So well, little, not crazy though. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, is like my teeth were t- perfectly straight until my wisdom teeth came in. Well, I think that's what yeah. is the case for most people. I, got, I don't know. Yeah, I should get those taken out. I don't know if... I still have them. Why, though? What's the point? Of getting them taken out? Yeah. Uh, sometimes it can help with your dental health because they're hard to keep clean. Hmm. Yeah. We're pretty well read on that. I had no idea. Well, well, I'm, you know, you've known me for how long now? 14 years? I know a lot of shit about shit that I don't really need Probably to know about. Random facts. Yeah, yeah I know. I just, I just know things. Um... Yeah, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that we don't actually look like that. Um, but we can move on now. Because I'll tell you, because I saw one of the ones come up the other day. I was like, man, I don't even know if I want to share that. I know. I know. I look like shit. It, it, I, have, I have a list here on my phone. of. Um, I'm going to start talking like this. So we did, did, did I have show my three teeth. more from last week's episode that I want to make. But... I, I do think there's there's something with the lighting that bothers me, which is there's no separation from the background, and we both have on dark colors. Mm, and so there's nice. zero separation from the walls. It's just like... We need another light right here. <clears throat> and no, we, we need a light. A, we need a light. What I saw from James Smith was it's just taking... And I have two more of these. It's just taking one and putting it on the ground. Up underneath us. Right underneath us, so that there'd be almost like... I don't know how to describe it, but there'd be light coming up around the table and going up the wall. Yeah. So you'd have that separation. There's less of a shadow there yeah. too. Yeah. So, but I have three other ones uh, that I made notes of. Like, all right, I'll make shorts on these. But then I was like, these look terrible. Like I have had let's zero let's motivation not do it. to let's do not, it. Let's not. Let's <laughs> not. Let's wait until we figure something out about. If not. the lighting on this one sucks too, we're gonna spend an ungodly amount of money to. I don't know. If but it's the just thing is, we lighting. wouldn't even need. Well, what I mean is. I think it's the lighting with these cameras. Oh, I think sure. that, like, our good Sonys can handle it, but we have different Sonys, so I don't know if, like, if we filmed... The color profile would be the same. Well, that's going to have a 30-minute cap. That's the only thing, is we can't go very long, yeah. What about the ZV-1 and the ZV-E-1? Same I color profile? It's all, it was, Sony would have the same. Sony, mm-hmm. Sony blue is Sony blue. It's the, the color would be the same. The only time you can run into differences in colors is... I guess the lens. But it's a different might, sensor. Like, it is, but it's still Sony. Hmm. And so, like, I know, like, if you would try to have like that one's a Nikon and that one's a uh, Canon, yeah, they then would you be. would have different colors. Yep. So, but I don't know. Word. Anyway, we're not degenerates, and we don't have awful teeth. So, yeah, we're gonna move on now. So we're gonna talk about. This would be the lengthiest title. If if this is the title that you're seeing, I apologize. I couldn't come up with anything shorter. But essentially, how to balance strength and conditioning with inside of brackets, whatever you want to do, running, rucking, jujitsu, 
mountain biking, ballet. I don't know, maybe not the ballet part, but some people are like, that. <clears throat> what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you? I'm just saying, I don't think that I you, have. What are you saying to people? Are you making fun of people who do ballet? Ballet. I'm just saying that I don't, I don't think I have the track record in the ballet world to really speak to that too you much. You know, it's funny. I uh, I dated a ballet dancer. I remember for that quite a while. But. There was uh, somebody the other day that was like, started talking about synchronized swimming. And I was like, oh, I used to train a synchronized swimmer. And they're like, you're fucking with me. I was like, no, sincerely. Like, I really did, did you? Yeah. At Conne- when, I, when I worked in Connecticut. She was a synchronized swimmer at Ohio State. Yeah. So. What and they're mean? like, they're, they're very similar to ballet dancers. Yeah. From, a, from like a um, morphology standpoint. Timing. Or, I'm just thinking well, just like, like how their bodies are. Like, they're just super bendy people. Interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. an Olympic sport, right? Might be. I don't I think know. It is. I think yeah, because I think she was trying to go get on the Olympic team. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's one of those things where I'm like, how, how do you wind up on that track? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, like, oh, what sports do your kids well, do? Like, I just don't think we come from communities where people have access to stuff like that. Yeah, probably. Central Pennsylvania ain't the best place <laughs> yeah. to get into fucking uh, obscure things like that. So, but when you're only an hour from New York City, you know that's different. So I guess, yeah. but. Yeah, so I, I mean, the things I wrote in here were how to balance strength conditioning with running, rucking, jujitsu, because I think that those things are the most topical for like our experiences. But yeah, we could extrapolate this information to climbing. We could say like you, you've been doing climbing with it, but not like how many days a week are you doing it? Two. Yeah. So well, it'll be two this week. Okay. Um, but because like I mean, <clears throat> the reason why this was top of mind is. Um, someone approached me, I keep forgetting what date it is, yesterday. No, maybe two days ago, but whatever. Someone approached me this week and um, they were looking at the gym blocks of training and they were like, you know, I, I'd like to pick your brain about how to put running on top of that. And I was like, well, a lot of questions for you, like for a specific goal, um, how much running, how how much time do you have available to train and and that could be broken out into how many days a week and um how much time per day multiple sessions like uh what's your sleep look like you know what i mean like it could go on and on and on but ultimately the answer was and this is someone who had done a marathon um and i think a half marathon like in the not too distant um past but they haven't been running as much and they're like well no really i just want to make sure that I don't lose like uh, that capacity and I'd, I'd like to keep running and rucking um, in my programs to make sure that I can still go out and do those things when need be or want be. Want to be. Um, want to be. And it like, I don't know. It was. Just, it's just, there's not a, it's just this man. Like it's, there's countless ways that you could do it. And I figured that could be something that would be good to riff on because I think that there's some principal things to consider that regardless of what you're looking to do would be good to take into consideration. So um, we can obviously break out into things, but I don't know if you have any initial. No, I'm sure. Uh, first thing would be that the st- structure of the, what are you going to press? That I was going to mute because I want to. <clears throat> clear my throat but i just don't want to be i don't want to like overpower you with that Anyways. i don't think you're gonna overpower me with your throat what is, oh, i'm sorry <laughs> wow um, Jeez. i'm sorry i'm not that was good uh what was i talking about uh if you had anything you wanted to go in on with this whole the like, structure of your week it, so the first i mean the first thing is thinking about the different type of sessions that you would do and then your priorities based on what's most important. So, um, so you kind of the way that we break it down and we think about it is there like, depending on the stressor, there are development that's going to, now that's going to make a noise. It is going to make a noise, but cause could you hear the air conditioning? Oh, is that what it yeah. was? Okay. Air conditioning. It's February, bro. Heat. I don't know. Heat. The air. So we have developmental sessions. We have stimulatory sessions and then we have recovery. And so you got to know what your main priorities are for that time. So they get your developmental stress or if you're going to put 
a bunch of stress on one day, it goes on that day. Um, so you actually have peaks and valleys of training stress throughout the week. And so like, let's say that, um, I don't know, let's say that you're, it's a, um, this, we'll just say it's like, you're trying to improve your max effort strength. Okay. So let's say that. So you would put, and, or you're just going to go with one variable first. We're just going to start with that. Okay. And so you would say that you would put a developmental session on like, well, unless you're taking steroids and you can do probably one every day if you want, but like, like maybe Monday would be a developmental session. Tuesday would be stimulatory. Wednesday would be some kind of recovery. And this is just arbitrary. Like you could do this a million different ways, but this is how I would think about doing it. Um, you could do Monday is developmental recovery on Tuesday. You could do developmental on Wednesday, developmental or stimulatory recovery on Thursday, and then probably just a stimulatory session on Friday. And then like maybe stimulatory on Saturday and then recovery on Sunday. So that way you actually have peaks and valleys throughout the week. Um, so that would just be just an example. And then if you're looking at like, let's say you're doing more of a concurrent program and concurrent mean would be like you're training multiple variables at one time. So for example, you know, aerobic development, strength, um, and like any of the, all of the different modalities or, or, or types of fitness, um, which is how we train, you would want to put your most stressful day efforts on your developmental days, right? So like if you're going to do like, you wouldn't go out and run your hardest run day on Monday and then on Tuesday do your hardest lift day. Mm -hmm. You would do your hardest run day on Monday and also do your hardest lift day on Monday so that on Tuesday you can drop the wave down into a, a trough and then you can start to come back up maybe to a stimulatory session on Wednesday or re, re, either way you, th- there's, it depends on the person, how you're going to respond you have to pay attention to your respond. But Tuesday would be either stimulatory or recovery and then stimulatory or recovery on Wednesday. And then you could do another high stress on Thursday, stimulatory recovery, and then developmental on Saturday and then rest on Sunday. Would it's be almost one. exactly what I did. Yeah. Getting ready. Which would be, a way to wave it all out. So the, I think the biggest thing is understanding that you have to, even if the stressors don't seem alike, if they're both high stress, they should probably be coupled so that you can actually have true um, developmental and recovery days and stimulatory days. So you just have to know what's most important. So that gets the most stress. And then if you have another high stress activity, put it close to that. So you have time to recover. So. And like, essentially the person that asked me, the takeaway was like, it's more of a maintenance. And so I was like, how many days a week? And I, I reflect back. I think he was like two. I was like, okay, do you have time? I'm not saying you need this. Do you have time for two a days? He was like, eh. And you know, you know what they do for it. You're like, eh. I'm like, no, you don't. Okay. So I would just like looking at the block that he was looking at of training with us. <clears throat> I was like, I would, uh, replace either Tuesday or Thursday endurance sessions because he was looking at capacity. I would replace either Tuesday or Thursday and do like easy, easy run. Like same time, basically somewhere around an hour. And then your second day, I would just get a long run in on Saturday. So really it would be adding a session, but for what he wants, like it'd be that simple. And he was like, well, rucking. I'm like, oh, okay. You could replace one of those. You can mm-hmm. say Tuesday or Thursday, make it a ruck, and Saturday could be a longer run. Or um, I was like, but you also like rucking really depends on duration and terrain. It, yeah, I was, and rucking could also just be like you keep that sucker around and you just accrue a bunch of volume throughout the week. When I say keep it around, like keep it in the truck. Like yeah, it's like well, I have a little bit of time. I can get out for a bit and just I think build for, up a bunch across the. For week. most people that have <laughs> accrued any kind of um, capacity and. Um, efficiency under load like you don't need much you don't need it's going to be a stimulatory or a recovery yeah. session especially in duration because um you and let's let's layer on top of that if and you have good aerobic development like it's going to be tough for you to get out of zone one unless you're getting onto terrain 
And so it's just not going to tax you that much uh, unless, unless the caveat, so that would be the weight distribution in your pack is all fucked up and, um, and, or you're using too much weight, which is also possible. But, but that's the, what was I going to say? I mean, yeah. And it depends on, it depends on like speed and duration and looking at how much, how you can recover. So like if you're a super efficient runner, like you, you probably already know this answer, but like you have to, you probably have to slow, not necessarily slow down, but keep your heart rate down a little bit more on stimulatory or recovery days. Like you, you're probably not even going to run at the top of your zone two. You're going to run down towards the bottom of zone two, top of zone one. I would, uh, delineate between, I was just like, really like, that's the word, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. You got to say the rest of your sentence. Between, between a recovery run and an easy run. For sure. Yeah. And so if I was going out for a recovery run, I would try and make, for me, I would try and make the top, uh, of that, uh, my heart rate, I would try and get no higher than like mid one thirties. I would try and stay in high one twenties for the majority of that right. run. If I'm doing an easy run, that's where I would be closer to like the 180 minus age, but really be like still zone two, like 180 minus age minus five. Um, so yeah, which is not a crazy difference. So because that would put me at uh, 138. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's like a 10 beat difference. Like the, the recovery day, try and stick around 128. An easy day, try and be around uh, 138 plus or minus five. The um, duration then matters, right? So, like, if you have to think about different things with volume and intensity, but then, because, like, for example, and, and your um, experience with the, and your, experience and capacity with the modality that you're using so for example like i could go out and ruck on terrain with 20 percent of my body weight for hours and be fine yep. and recover the, like the next day like i'll probably be tired but it wouldn't be bad like i would rebound and then like by say recovery day the next day and then by the next day i would be ready to, to party but like what ahead. terrain i'll train around here say i went and did raven's rocks or something like that your quads would probably be a little the way back down but i would be i would so let me illustrate the rest of it um but so like i've been doing my long runs on saturdays yeah. and i'm not fully ready to go on monday mm, mm, mm. so like i have to do some kind of recovery work on monday and then i'm fully ready to go again on tuesday yeah. and so like you have to under pay attention to like that kind of curve and how those stressors affect you and i've been running i mean those long runs my heart rates average is in the high 130s and i've been like cruising in the mid 140s so um but it, for me that with that heart rate and that kind of a stressor like it it takes longer recovery for me so you have to pay attention to those kind of things and then you figure out where you can put your developmental sessions and how many you can actually do per week you can i think you can do up to three not everybody can recover from three developmental training days per week you know what I mean? So, and you have to pay attention to that. And then on your stimulatory ones, you have to think about volume and intensity and then also the modality. So I could come in and do a moderate weight training session and recover from that pretty fast because of you know, all of my history with that. But yeah. like running and different things I have to pay attention to differently because, you know, I haven't run with the volume that I'm running now since I was like 18 years old. So yeah. those are the things that you have to pay attention to as well as like, how do you recover from the different modalities? How many actual developmental days can you recover from every week? And then figuring out a rhythm of that, that, that that's going to work for you. So right now, mine goes developmental on Monday, stimulatory on Tuesday. Wednesday's like recover. I call it climbing care. So I go climb for like 45 minutes or an hour, which isn't very stressful for me with bouldering because like, I'm not very good, so I can't do super hard shit yet. And, and there's then, a lot of time between with resting and yeah. just walking around and looking <clears throat> at it and being like, "How the fuck do you do that?" <laughs> and um, and then I I do extra mobility work on that yep. day. Thursday is developmental. Friday is stimulatory. Saturday is developmental, and then Sunday is just like I walk yep. around, and that's really it. So the other thing that I I wrote down here, <clears throat> and I'd I'd be very interested in your input because this is something I've been trying to kind of figure out myself this year because it's been a long time since I've been here. It's interesting, like 
training for the ultras, like there's a performance goal, but it's still just capacity training. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's not like specific it's not the speed component as much. Yeah. There's not as much of a speed component. There's not like a, a crazy amount of skill development. The skill is just from like repetition, right? Well, it's managing um, your, managing your, the resources that you have on you and, and yeah. things like that. Like it's not, yeah. But now this year with like my, I don't know if I want to call it my Misogi, but like my big thing this year is like, all right, let's dive into jujitsu and try and get my blue belt. Um, and so now there's like, it's like similar to someone playing any sport. There's a performance component, which, so now you can't look at that or maybe you could, I, I, this is where I'd be curious on your input and like how you would view this. And I can tell you what I've been experimenting with, but it genuinely is an experiment is you kind of never know. I mean, there's a structure to, to jujitsu classes where I go. There's, there's, it's very structured, but still like some days like, oh, we're going to technique, 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 technique. Okay. There's short roll, uh, sessions at the end. Other days are like, all right, we're going to work some technique. All right, let's roll. And you look at the clock and you're like, oh, dang, there's like, there's like close to an hour of class left. Like we're going to maybe not quite that long, but it's a long time. Like, um, so it's hard to go like, is it developmental stimulatory? You know what I mean? It's just practice. Right. Sure. But then there's like the rolling component is like, it, it's similar. And I have the heart rate data to show it's similar to VO2 max intervals. It doesn't feel the same. Um, but your heart rate is like going up, 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 up. And then it's like, it comes back down. Like maybe you sit the next roll out, or even if you don't like there's, there's just a minute or two between rolls and then you're into the next one. It's going up, 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 you know? Um, and so then there's like time, uh, differences. It's like some days that I go, the classes are an hour and a half. Some days I go, the classes are an hour. And so I've been kind of like crawling up my classes and I think I'm getting it figured out. But the big thing right now for me, and this is where I go, like, like performance versus, uh, health and longevity goals. Like I'm not approaching this momentarily from a health and longevity standpoint, because the thing that I've removed is almost all of the uh, low intensity conditioning. I'm not really doing any conditioning except for I sporadically get out for some easy runs. So if I'm gonna do something, it's gonna be easy. Um, or maybe I head to the basement and I get in like an easy rowing and um, treadmill session, but I don't have them scheduled in because so far I've been kind of going by feel and going like, all right, well, I'm going to lift three days a week. Um, I'm going to double up like jujitsu and lifting on Monday and Friday. I tried to do that with not lifting on Wednesday, getting off of our schedule here and lift Thursday and jujitsu, um, on Thursday, but I was not, I was running into recovery issues from that. I feel like, so now I'm just like, I'm lifting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which means I'm only lifting on Friday. I'm not uh, I'm not doing jujitsu as well. Did I say that right? I'm only lifting on Wednesday. I'm not doing jujitsu as well mm. on Wednesday. So I'm doing jujitsu. Um, if we don't have to go work with the tactical folks, uh, in the morning, I'm, I'm going to jujitsu Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If we do have to go in the morning, I'm going Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so all that to say, I'm kind of sticking to the schedule here, but, and I, I couldn't tell you the last time I did this. And at first it was like a major mental battle to do this. I, I, I think you'll get this. I've allowed myself to be ridiculously lazy. Like I've never been. It's like, I am because it's like, you're going with practice. I'm going with lifting, but I'm not like stressing. And it's not that I stress about before, but I'm like, all right, now I want to make sure I'm getting my, 12 to 15,000 steps a day. And I'm, I'm getting like this low. I'm like, no, it actually might be best for me to just chill, right. like not add more work. But I don't think from a health and longevity standpoint, it's necessarily the best thing. Um, but I don't know, maybe like, maybe like if you look at it through the lens, I realize it's a very long time ago, but I guess if you were coaching me or if you were reflecting on like, your time in football, I doubt you were doing a ton of like zone two work or anything, but, um, I don't know. I just threw a whole lot at you there. Like, what would you tell me to do? Or, or like, where does your brain go with that kind of stuff? Oh, well, the first thing is it would be how much of each thing do you actually need? Um, that would be the first thing. And then the second thing would be, um, to look at 
um, what can you recover from? And then the third thing would be to just be reactive around your priorities. You know what I mean? So I think that would be the, the first thing is like if jujitsu is a priority, we have to react around that and then look at where um, the other stressors could or should be placed and how much of them do you actually need. And so, you know, I think that that's, and then based on time, what do you need? And, and, and then, and then coming back from there, <clears throat> what are you willing to sacrifice and, and based on what you want and really that's it. Cause if you, if you, um, let's say for me, you know, uh, uh just doing this to draw a parallel, I don't need to lift two days per week. Like based on most things, I don't need to. Like I would maintain the strength that I need and I I should probably, most people probably tell me to do something else with that day. I don't want to. Cause I, Bingo. Because yeah. I enjoy it. I feel that. Yeah. And so like that's really, so I'm willing to make the sacrifice of like, oh, well my progress probably would be faster if I did something different, but I don't want to do something different. Yeah. And like I'm willing to play the game longer because like truth be told, like, I like how I look and I'd like to maintain that. I want to stay around 195 to 200 pounds. Um, I like having big shoulders. I like having big arms and I like having big legs and I'm, I'm not going to apologize for that. You know what I mean? So I can, I can maintain all of that and still meet all of my hunting fitness goals and I'm still go out and run the half marathon. And I'm based on how I'm progressing with my running, I'm guessing we'll be around two hours, something like that. So I think it's, it's a combination of all of those things. It's like, you know, what is the biggest priority? What are you willing to give up? And then how do you react around those stressors? And I, I think that that's it. And um, trying to cut the emotion out of it while also understanding how you might react emotionally to different things. Um, I think is really, that's kind of the formula. And so if you want to do jujitsu three to four times per week, well, how much lifting are you willing to give up? And then, and then go from there and say, okay, well, you're only willing to give up this much. Well, can you cut your session short? You know, what, whatever it might be. Yeah. You know? So I, I don't think I'm having, I don't think I'm having recovery issues from doing. I it. doubt that you are. Well, it's also like you recover pretty, pretty well. Like you're, you handle volume. You yeah. handle volume way better than I handle handle volume. So, well, I'm like so because right now it's three days a week of lifting, four to five days a week of jujitsu. So it's it's five to six hours a week of jujitsu and about three hours in the gym. It's not three hours of actual lifting. Um, I feel fine on that. And on the weeks where I've been like, it's really like a, do I have time? And is it's not the priority. So is there, do I have the time? And also like, I don't even know if best use is the right thing to say, but is this the best use of my time? Mm. Um, the answer is probably never yes on that, if, if you're being honest, but um, then I, that's when I'm getting my runs in still. I think you have to plead. I think there has to be times also, which is, did you hear that? Oh, your stomach? I'm hungry. Dang. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, which is, can I just, it sounded like, um, uh, I don't even like almost like the old, like fish tanks, like when the pump oh, yeah. would like, anyways, yeah. go on. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> the, uh, um, shit, I lost my train of thought. Uh, sorry. Oh, 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 no, no, no. You have to, and I'm, uh, the caveat is like, I'm just learning how to do this. So is having times when you completely shut down. Yes. Like, uh, so you saying about not walking, not that kind of stuff and understanding where you're at with all of your different aspects of training, having times where you don't do anything at all is so important. Like stim, like not even any kind of like, you're not looking at your phone. Yeah. You're not doing anything like those, those times are so important, especially if you have a, a high training load, you have to be able to completely shut down. Dude, Tuesday this week. I don't know if I told you this. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Monday night. Um, Tuesday was when I was supposed to, and I did teach the kettlebell workshop out right. there with our guys. And uh, Monday night, close to 9 p.m., I don't know if I told you this, we get our, me and Jess, our phones go off at the same time, which we're like, all right, I know what this is. It means it's going to be school. Loudoun County yeah. Schools. They're like closed due to weather. Like, remember there was like this tiniest bit weather? of, the yeah. tiniest bit of like slush on yeah, Tuesday morning. Bad. In this area, they were like, we're closed. So um, I wound up saying to Finley, because she's always saying she wants to go out there with me. And I'm like, I don't know if you can. 
And um, so I, I text Chris and I was like, hey, uh, schools are closed today. He's like, oh, if you need to cancel. I'm like, no, no, no. Um, I'm like, can Finley come on site with me? And uh, he's like, how old is she? And I was like, uh, six. And he's like, oh, yeah, dude. Like, no, it. Like, you can just drive right in with her. Just tell her, uh, make sure no um, uh, handguns or rifles today. I was like, all right, I'll let her know. Yeah. But, uh, but um, so she came out there with me. And which was which was funny because it's a gym. She was right at home, and guys were like, "She's very comfortable in this environment." I'm like, "Yeah, she's too comfortable in this <laughs> environment. Like, it, she's driving me crazy right now." But when we left, normally that's when on a two, that's when I would have gone on a run or anything. But dude, like, I that was my first time going Monday Tuesday with jujitsu. I went that morning at 7 a.m. and um, I said to Finley, "I'm like, you want to go home and like turn on a movie?" She's like, "Yeah, bro." When we got home, it was like 2:30. I was on the couch from. 2 30 chilling i mean we played some games like a, uh like a uh actual you know card games like not like sitting there playing video games um watch a movie played some games hung out talk jess came home we all just chilled in the living room i have never unless i'm sick basically been immobile from 2 30 until like 8 30 when i went upstairs and i was just like whoa but i turned around and felt great yeah you know, on Wednesday. But for me, that was like, a, I kept feeling this, like, you should be doing. And I'm like, what What do I need to be doing right now? That's like. Yeah, no, I understand that. But you feel this pull. So just, just a. I think it's understanding the things that tone you down too. Yeah. And to do that. Like, I know that if I, you know, dick around on my guitar for a little bit in the evening, yeah. like it, it does a lot to calm me down and just kind of, I don't, it's just, yeah, it just, it tones me down. And then, um, just periods where you you can understand that you don't have to do anything because I don't like that that psychic stress is just as impactful as the other stress and it's like if you don't have periods where you just shut down then um, it will accumulate. It I, does. I know that and I don't very often. It's tough for me. It's tough for me too. I it's not it's not not how my personality works. Like I I want to be doing something and sometimes like you just have to realize that the quality of everything else will come back up if there's times when you just don't do anything or if you just play your guitar or you just like sit as crazy as it sounds just like fucking sit there and don't do anything yeah. so i mean another thing that's really helped me is doing the four seconds in six seconds out yes. two seconds breathing before bed yeah. um that's been hugely impactful for me so um on the like I'll get off the jujitsu topic, but like just like kind of closing out what we're talking about there. I was talking with Chris out there about it as well because he came up to me and he's like, um, I don't remember how we got on the topic, but he goes, I've started, he was skipping like the endurance sessions. He was like, I'll lift, you know, I'll do like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday lift. And then I do jujitsu. He does, I don't know how many days a week, but, but multiple days a week. And he's like, I don't really do the conditioning sessions and getting my conditioning from this. And, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, you are, but you aren't. But now, like that, I've been collecting the data on it. Average heart rates over those sessions where I'm saying I'll get into the 180s, whatever. Average heart rate will still be like one teens, like 112, 118. You know, like average will be low. You'll spend tons of time. So I'm sure I'm still accumulating. Some. I think it's different though when your heart rate remains steady in the zone. Yes, it's a very different adaptation. But the the point I'm getting at with him is he was like, I'm I'm starting to do some more conditioning sessions. He's like. Um, and at first, cause he was like, I forget how he phrased it, but I was like, I was like, yeah, that I was thinking, oh, that's it. I was, I was thinking that he was gonna be like, this isn't giving me enough of like my low and slow. And then he was like, uh, jujitsu is no longer giving me a conditioning effect like it used to. And I was like, what? And then essentially what he was saying is like, there's the rare day where they go in and try and smash each other. Like the other day I was in there and like literally when they were done, they were all just like, oh, like Chris's face was all marked up and guys looked terrible. And I was like, what did you guys just do? But he was saying most days as he's getting better, he's not getting smashed, you know? And so it's he's kind of like, less it's just costing him less yeah. energy. And he's like, I'm not like, I need to be doing more now, you know? Um, so... I'm sure that is at play as well with like, where I'm like, well, you know, it's like VO2 max intervals with more experience, a lot more, no time soon. <laughs> like my heart rate probably won't go to that, uh, that level with rolls. So I think it'll change over time. But I think, I think, I guess like to close that out is I probably should be doing more 
zone two training. And, and if I if I was to look at it and be like, let's create the optimal schedule, it probably would be advisable to drop a day of lifting and try and get in two Yeah. Two zone one. two type. Or even like, just one like long one. <clears throat> yeah. I think Which I could definitely do I that. think dropping a day lifting and doing one sixty to ninety minute zone two session would be probably the most impactful thing for you to do. I'm not going to do that, but <laughs> no, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not being totally serious there. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm literally, I keep experimenting with this and figuring it out. What's, what's been interesting is, um, and I didn't get to read it yet, but I know that's the blog for this week is, uh, my, all of my, like where we talked about, um, last week, uh, was it measuring fitness progress, mm. um, tracking fitness progress? Like oh, it's been longer than a week. What we talked about that was last week that we talked about that. Was it? Um, yeah. Hmm. But uh but all of all of that stuff is trending up. My HRV is coming up, my resting heart rate's going back down, respiratory rates coming back down. So it's like but it also is probably just that I'm not running, running. seven to nine running seven to nine hours a week. Um oh, for sure. But that's definitely yeah. Um the, another thing I had down here was and a mistake that I think I see guys do um, out where we're at is it's not program plus like I'm doing insert random this program um, and then I'm doing this uh, marathon training prep on top of it and it just goes back to to your point that you said of like um, the different developmental stimulatory it's like you're taking two this one's developing this this one's developing this and you're just slapping them on top of each other well this coach says that you're supposed to do these sessions monday through saturday and then my my running pro plan is like this like you could potentially do this program plus this coach's uh marathon prep or insert whatever thing but they probably and by probably pretty much 100 percent will need to be peeled apart and look at like well how do the days need organized bringing it back to what you were saying mm. earlier of like what what's going on with this program um but it's not just stacking things together and being like, yeah, this works. This one's getting me strong and this completely disconnected other thing for running is maybe, maybe you can recover from that, but it wouldn't be the optimal way to do no. it. No, you have to give some things up and you have to make sacrifices and it, it's to which degree do you want to make the sacrifice? And that's like, how quickly do you want to make progress and what are you willing to give up? You know, and I, I think that that's where people run into the problem is they don't want to give up anything, but you're going to have to. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's and, and just having. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, it was just a thought. As you were saying that, like, do you <clears throat> with human predator pack mule, do you label days as like stimulatory, developmental, no, recovery? I just put them where they're supposed to go. I get that. But I don't know. I teach people to wave it. Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking out loud. The different the thing is is like with human predator pack mule, it's it's similar. It's all folks. built in. What is, but it's also similar folks to what we have at the gym. Yeah, they just have more specific goals, and um, we can help adjust with the programming with different options. Um, so it's like, you know, I have for starting with this training phase, we have like on Tuesday you can do a 30, 45, or 60 minute zone two session. And so like we're doing that so we can better track people's zone yep. two volume and make recommendations and everything like that. Um, but the case is, is like, these are all normal people with normal lives. And so yeah. it's like uh, anything is better than nothing for sure. And so if you have an hour, do an hour, if you have 45 minutes, do 45 minutes. And so like it's waived in such a way that like right now, you know, we're doing our main goal is aerobic development like low level aerobic development. So improving our, our aerobic threshold. So most of the volume is aerobic training, but through this training phase, there's two specific things that we want to develop with that, which is strength endurance and, um, development of our slow twitch muscle fibers. So on Monday developmental session, we do eustress training on Thursday developmental session. We do, um, tempo tempo training and then on saturday we have a developmental aerobic session it's longer so at least 60 to 90 minutes so um so yeah we i plan it out that way and then offer instruction about how you might need to move stuff if you need to no that's cool yeah. i was just thinking about a lot of other stuff that we can talk about offline 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 
secret. Yeah, you, guys, you guys don't get to hear. Top secret. Um, Is that everything? We talked about stacking stressors. Um, I, I think two things to close out. True off days. We kind of touched on it. You said Sundays like are just, you might get out, walk, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> do you plan that? Like meaning, do you go, do you have a goal on those days? Oh, no. Cool. No, not at all. I mean, yeah. I know I need to move, but, but I don't but have But from to. a mental perspective and from a... No, I shut my brain down. Yeah. I don't try to have a goal every day. I mean, because I know, I know what I have done to myself in the past because yep. I am hardwired to fucking have to be doing something all the time. Yep. And I've just, in many aspects of my life, I found that that does not work all that well to achieve the results that I would like to achieve. So. Yeah. So, yeah, totally in line with that. Like, I just think true off days, and maybe I'm speaking to a limited crowd here, um, myself, <laughs> but is like not having, and it's something that I've been doing much better with this year. Um, and definitely it was kind of forced, like with all the training for ultras, but like, I'm just being like, like there was a period previous to doing the ultras where I would on a Saturday or a Sunday, there'd be days where it's like, I didn't even get 3000 steps today. That's insane. And there was a point where like, I would judge myself for that. And now this year, like Sundays, I'm like, I do not care. I don't care if I got, and I'm not, I'm making up a number here, but I don't care if I only get 3000 steps, like, because my workload is so freaking high Monday through Saturday that like, I'm just what do we want to do as a family? What do we, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not about anything to do with movement or, sure. or physicality on Sunday, unless we want to go do something physical as a family on Sunday. And then the last thing I had was we kind of touched on it. Um, but we talked about combining stressors. Uh, and so when you're doubling up, so like that's Monday for me, it's like Mondays, I have an hour and a half of jujitsu and then we have our strength training session in here. Another thing that like, this is me telling myself, uh, and I'm not always the best at doing it, but I find I feel the best when I do it. Um, which is you do all of that work. Like you've got to down regulate just as hard that very same day as well. Mm. Otherwise I've found that, and you'd be like, well, your sleep's probably jacked up because of how much work you did. But on those days, if you do, so when I say down regulate, what could it be? Anything that just helps you to relax. You talked about the four, six, two breathing. Um, so inhale for four, all through your nose, inhale for four, exhale for six, hold for two, um, counting rounds of that for me, even just making sure that I'm not like, all right, I have downtime. Like I love to scroll on YouTube and see like, you know, did any of the people that I followed, put out something new, just like, no, like, don't look at anything. Don't do anything. Chill, um, shut off on that very same day, which is incredibly hard for me to do. Sure. But on those, on those stressful, um, doubled up days. I think it's very, very important to do that. And I'm telling myself that and I'm telling other people that <laughs> it is but, important. It really um, is. But no, I think that's it. This today was for me. Today was for it's me. Today is all about Chris. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go. Cool.